We continue on section 20.8, properties of the Laplace transform. We, are, uh, we last time we talked about the first property, the transform of derivatives. And we continue with uh, another two examples to, to use that to solve differential equation. So the first one is basically still a, a simple harmonic oxalate, but oxalated, but it's written in two uh, first order ODE. So the, uh, this is example 20.8.3. So the two ODE is dx dt equals to minus a y and then dy dt equals to a x. So this is a uh, pom 154. Okay, so there's a, uh, a there's a relationship with some uh, physical property of this problem. So this is basically a uh, the, the kind of a, a precession problem uh, of like the, the uh, so it's related to the physical problem, but uh, for us, it's just uh, basically a uh, solving ODE. So, uh, so once we have that, uh, for this one, we basically, uh, we keep the initial condition arbitrary. So we'll take the, um, the Laplace transform of both sides of the equation. So when you take the Laplace transform of the derivative, you get S times the Laplace transform minus the initial condition. So what we have is, uh, we call the X is, uh, little X is uh, Laplace transform of capital X. And Y is uh, Laplace transform of capital Y. So that means uh, you have S times little x minus the initial condition for x equals to minus a y. And then similarly S y minus y zero equals to a little x. So we have now, uh, that kind of you know, equations and we, so this is um, nothing but uh, is the two linear equation for x and y. So we can solve for x and y for these two equations. So to do that, uh, we can multiply this equation by s, s squared, little x minus s x zero equals to minus a times s y, which is uh, s y is just a x and plus y zero. Okay, so now we get uh, uh, all the a. Uh, I think the, this is another a times a minus a y. So a, a s y is this one. Okay, so we group the x together and solve for, solve for little a, little, little x. Okay, so uh, what we have is, uh, so if we solve for it, so s squared plus a squared, so x is uh, put everything to the left hand side. So you have s x zero and minus a times y zero divided by s squared plus a squared. 
Okay, so now uh, we recognize that uh, the form of this Laplace transform is similar to the transform of uh, cosine and sine and listed in the, the table that we uh, looked up before. So table 20.1, so these two are the number eight and number nine except that uh, instead of k we have a okay so the first first term will be cosine the second term will be sine so this means that uh, the original function is just x0 cosine a t then minus y0 sine a t Okay, so and so that would be the solution. Okay, and uh, so once we have that, of course, you can solve for y also. So so y is this dx dt minus a. So y is equals to minus one over a d t d x which is uh, minus a x zero sine a t minus a y zero cosine a t so it's all together it just will be just y zero cosine a t and plus uh, x x zero sine a, sine eighty. Okay, so this is um, this is um, y zero. zero sine eighty. Okay, so and the rest is um, some discussion. You can set one of these like y zero is zero and uh, get to the more special case, but uh, we won't continue that. So you know that this is uh, just using the past transform and the property of uh, the transform of uh, derivative, you can get to solve this kind of ODE. Okay, so the next one is uh, example 20.8.4. Now the equation is uh, md square x dt square, which is uh, like uh, M A so M times accelerator is force and the force is given by just a delta function P times delta T, which means that you give it a just an infinite impulse or infinite um, force at uh, T equals so just for a short time, so the impulse is finite. So now uh, okay, so we can solve this. By, uh, again, by the property of the derivative, because uh, again, we are using little x as the transform. So what we have is for second derivative, we have s squared times little x, okay? And then, uh, and then minus the, minus s times, Uh, x zero then minus x pi zero okay so uh, that all of that's uh, multiplied by m but you can divide m to the other side so equals to p over m 
And the path transfer of data function, uh, we did that, uh, which is just one, okay? So this is just P over M, okay? And so now the initial condition is uh, for this problem, we set X prime zero is zero and X zero is zero. Okay, therefore there's no, the, this both terms are zero in Python. X is just P over M times divided by S squared. All right, so we uh, can get uh, the solution by inverse transform. So we can look up the one over S square. So one over S square, so that is uh, Again, uh, this is just uh, number of three when uh, the gamma function is um, an integer because we know that, that actually we derived that uh, the pass transform of Tn equals to gamma n plus one divided by s n plus one, we did that last time. So now your s squared n is one. And so uh, gamma one plus one is just gamma two, gamma two is just one. So uh, so we get that uh, one of s squared, the uh, inverse transform is just t squared. So this implied uh, xt is just equals to, I do not t square n is one, just t. It's just p over m times t. Okay. And so x prime t will be just a constant p over m for all time. Oh. For t greater than zero, actually. When t is zero, it's actually zero. So. So the solution is that uh, the um, velocity x pi just have a sudden increase from zero to a finite value for when t is greater than zero. This is because uh, due, this is due to an infinite force or, or a finite impulse at t equals zero. So, so the velocity jump a finite amount. So after that, uh, displacement just keep moving linearly into the constant velocity. So that's uh, the solution of this impulse problem. And uh, there's a, a similar problem to talk about in this example, um, but uh, we don't have to do that because uh, the solution is basically the same. All right, so these are the two examples that uh, continue to um, illustrate how you use the first property, the Laplace transform of derivative to solve uh, differential equation. Next time we'll talk about another property.